I'm here today with uh, Dave Hansen of Hansen Trailers, and uh, we're going to look at a uh, storm shelter that uh, he's building and uh, ask him uh, to show us a little bit about this. Uh, Dave, what can you tell me about this storm shelter? Well, this is a roll body, as you can see, and it's all, it's all quarter-inch plate. We left this collar sticking up 12 inches above on this front here. So you can, you can cover this with a foot or a foot and a half of dirt when you, when you get it set down where you want it. The trick is not to set it in a hole where, where you get water running in it. Uh, it's got a six by three frame, as you can see down here. The door, it's all quarter inch there. There's three one inch pin dead bolts in here, and on the inside here, there's a uh, cross member in here and there's a plate which is about two foot by 30 inches welded on the bottom of that cross member there you can see the re rebar and everything's already in place here then we have some other rebar that we fabricated up that goes in them holes and you, you, you excavate a hole out here uh, below this plate say approximately two to three foot however deep you want it and you fill all this foam of concrete up to the top of these six by three rectangular tubes here it. And we have uh, so basically you got a built-in form oh, yeah. on the storm yeah. shelter. So yeah. the concrete's part of the yeah. part of the metal and, building. And, uh, and we have a, a coupling welded in the rear there toward the top where you can uh, stub your electricity into phone lines or anything else. Whatever you want to put in there. Yeah. Uh, this door is really wide. Forty-eight inch door. So you get a wheelchair uh, in here. Wheelchair accessible, or you could use it for storage. Lawnmowers. Uh, I noticed the door swings in. The door swings in. Yes. We can build them either way. We have a continuous hinge here that's really heavy duty. It's all three sixteenths with a half inch uh, shaft going down through it. The door swings in. That allows you. So you're not going to get blocked in by any trees or debris that could get up against the building, Correct. the front of it, if you and, bury it. Uh, when you close this here up. Uh, all back right on to put a little bit of a, a sealer right in between this frame and the door, but it'll be just virtually bug tight when you, when you get her in there. And these wings up here, they, they bolt off so we can haul it where it ain't over width, and then when you get it to where you're setting it down, why we just stick these seven bolts back in on each side and drive these two one-inch shafts in the ground. And you're ready to cover up the dirt. And as you can see, our, our breather tubes up there uh, have perforated plate uh, on the bottom of them there. So we sure ain't going to get a snake. I ain't going to say you wouldn't get a mosquito in there, but pretty much bug tie. Yeah, I've noticed you, uh, and you used uh, what, what size steel on this to build it? It's all quarter inch. Quarter inch, and I've oh, seen yeah. a lot of other steel shelters, and, yeah. and they look like they're 10 gauge, or, yeah. or not 12 or 14 gauge small steel that's going to rust through pretty quick. Yeah. This I, looks I, like I, a I, tank, I, looks like it's this, built this like an army tank. It lasts a long time, and, and uh, like I say, you can, this is an 8 by 10, we'll, we'll have an 8 by 8 and a 6 by 8. Or if somebody wants one of a different size, we can build them to any size. Any Basically, like. build them custom any way anybody wants them. This is 8 by 10, so there's there's 80 square feet on the end. And now there's there. something this design. You've got this this rolled, uh, this steel's rolled in an arch, and I guess that gives it some strength because sure. I've never any, seen anything like anytime that. Anytime you roll plate, why well, you're going to get, you're going to it's going to take on a lot of strength. So this 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 design that's virtually came from uh, dump trucks that are made yeah, from hauling heavy rock and, and, and large concrete debris because they can withstand uh, heavy that, rock hitting it, right? And that's where we come up with this idea. And this is this shelter, is unique. So. I've never seen this in a steel storm shelter, uh, anything. So this is probably, in my opinion, I mean, from what I've looked around out there, this looks like the strongest steel storm shelter I've ever seen. It'll be virtually last a long, 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 long time. What what, what do you roughly say this would weigh? This looks pretty heavy. This right here? Yes. 5,000 pounds, like you said. 5,000 pounds, all right. Say it's all quarter-inch day. All right, Dave, well, I appreciate you uh, okay. talking to us about your shelters today, and uh, Very good. Very we'll uh, get some more pictures up for you. Somebody wants one that's, uh, you know, a little different size, or okay. doesn't make any difference. All right.
All right. We're going to have some pictures on the website, and we'll have the videos for people to look at. And, uh, really appreciate you talking to us today about them. Thank you for your time.